from WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News update. Hi everyone, I'm Erin Connolly. Thanks for joining us. In New Haven, a woman is dead after a shooting in the city over the weekend. Two other shootings are under investigation. 26-year-old Tanya Rodriguez was shot and killed on Saltonstall Avenue early Sunday morning. Police charged 30-year-old Leon Guerrero in that shooting death. Police say Rodriguez approached Guerrero and two other men who were involved in a fight when he shot her. The victims of the other shootings are expected to be okay. The search for answers continues after a 12-year-old girl became an innocent victim of gun violence in Hartford. Secret Pierce died Friday morning. She was not the intended target. Police say a car was speeding down Huntington Street when someone fired from inside. Three other people were hurt. Mayor Luke Brunin says those three have an extensive criminal history and are not cooperating with investigators. Police across the state say there were dozens of car break-ins over the weekend. In Weathersfield alone, 16 reported break-ins. A homeowner in Weathersfield caught someone on camera trying to steal a car, but they did not get away with the vehicle. Police believe it's one group going around breaking in and trying to steal cars, most likely juveniles. And a big announcement from New Britain Mayor Erin Stewart. We already know she's seeking re-election, and now we've learned she's expecting another baby. Check out this picture she tweeted showing her young daughter is going to be a big sister. Mayor Stewart is due in October. All right, our Tuesday starts with some patchy frost across inland Connecticut. Uh, and then as we make our way through the day, morning sun will then give way to some clouds. Those clouds at times could overtake the sun, partly to mostly cloudy through the afternoon with a chance for some isolated showers, uh, maybe a brief downpour, even some grapple, uh, some small hail. Uh, temperatures will continue running below average, only reaching between 55 and 60 uh, during the afternoon. Uh, on Wednesday, basically, we'll do it all over again. A chance for a late day shower, maybe a rumble of thunder. And then Thursday, we should trend dry and brighter. Temperatures in the low 60s could go even a couple degrees milder with a dry end to the week. Then we cloud up on Saturday. Uh, temperatures reach the upper 50s and low 60s. The wind begins to increase. Saturday looks to be the better of the two weekend days as of now, with increasing chances for rain. Later Sunday, that rain could be steady, perhaps heavier Sunday night into Monday of next week. Overall, temperatures will be running at or below average over the next seven days as we close out April and kick off May.